Welcome to our service for evening prayer on Tuesday of Holy Week. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, the God of our forebears, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you, glorious in your holy temple, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you who behold the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. The day is now past, and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you, as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 69, verses 1 to 21. And we read in alternate verses. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up even to my throat. I sink in the deep mire where no footing is. I have come into deep waters and the flood sweeps over me. I am weary with crying out. My throat is parched. My eyes fail with watching so long for my God. Those that hate me without cause are more in number than the hairs of my head. Those who would destroy me are many. They oppose me wrongfully, for I must restore things that I never took. O God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those that wait for you be ashamed because of me, O Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced on my account, O God of Israel. For your sake have I suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. 
I've become a stranger to my family, an alien to my own mother's children. The zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the taunts of those who taunt you have fallen on me. I am myself with fasting, and that was turned to my reproach. I made sackcloth my clothing, and I became a byword to them. Those who sit in the gate talk of me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But to you, Lord, I make my prayer at an acceptable time. Answer me, O God, in your abundant goodness, and with your sure deliverance. Bring me out of the mire, so I may not sink. Let me be delivered from my enemies, and from the deep waters. Let not the flood overwhelm me, or the depths follow me up. Let not the pit shut its mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, as your loving kindness is good. Turn to me, as your compassion is great. Do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. O be swift to answer me, draw near to me and redeem me. O ransom me because of my enemies, for you know all their taunts, and my adversaries are all in your sight. Insults have broken my heart, my shame and disgrace are past healing. God of grace, we thank you for all your gifts to us. Grant us to accept both pain and joy in faith and hope, and never to fail in love to you and to our sisters and brothers, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. first reading is from the Book of Lamentations, chapter 3. Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts as well as our hands to God in heaven. We have transgressed and rebelled, and you have not forgiven. You have wrapped yourself with anger and pursued us, killing without pity. You have wrapped yourself with a cloud so that no prayer can pass through. You have made us filth and rubbish among the peoples. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us. Panic and pitfall have come upon us, devastation and destruction. My eyes flow with rivers of tears because of the destruction of my people. My eyes will flow without ceasing, without respite, until the Lord from heaven looks down and sees. My eyes cause me grief at the fate of all the young women in my city. Second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 3. Yet whatever gains I had, I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I've already obtained this, or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us then who are mature 
be of the same mind. And if you think differently about anything, this too God will reveal to you. Only let us hold fast to what we have attained. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We now join in saying together the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, our reading from the Book of Lamentations is so pertinent. So many people in our society and around the world have lost loved ones, have lost jobs, are uncertain about their future, are separated from their loved ones. There are more calamities around us than we have ever been able to imagine. And how do we see our way through this? Where is the hope for us? Well, in writing to the Philippians, Paul, in fact, tackles some of this question as to how to deal with the difficulties of daily life. And he goes on to say, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. And that is significant for us at this time. We too must continue forward, forward in our faith. There is no point in us as members of society sitting down and lamenting our lot. Rather, we must seek ways in which to reach out to those in need, to comfort those who have lost loved ones, to be with those, if we are allowed, to be with those who have lost their jobs, lost livelihoods, lost businesses. We need to look forward to rebuilding our society, rebuilding the whole of our world, and let us rebuild into something that is more worthy of God than ever has been in the past. We have an opportunity now to build a new world, to think differently, to cast away some of the old order that has held us back in creating a place of justice, a place of peace, a place of equality for all people. And we have an opportunity now to do that, to do just that, to grasp the reality of our situation with hope, with faith, and move forward. Move forward in Christ, knowing that God is a God of love. So as St. Paul says, let those of us then who are mature be of the same mind. And if you think differently about anything, this too God will reveal to us. Only let us hold fast to what we have attained. And of course, what we have attained is faith in God through Jesus Christ. And that is our greatest consolation. The Lord be with you. So let us now pray. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And the Collect for Tuesday in Holy Week. Everlasting God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son to take our nature and to suffer death upon the cross. In your mercy enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. And let us pray the prayer in time of the coronavirus. Lord Jesus Christ, healer and friend, come and care for all of us through the danger and uncertainty of the coronavirus epidemic. To people who are sick, bring healing. To people who are displaced, isolated or cut off from family, friends or work, bring comfort and companionship. Work with medical staff as they care for the sick and protect them from harm. Give skill and fruitful research to scientists as they search for treatments, prevention and a cure. To public health authorities, give wisdom to decide the best ways to manage both this crisis and our anxieties. When communities are fearful, give a calm spirit and kindness to neighbours and strangers. Through this testing time and through all the risks we face together, teach us once again how we can love one another as you have loved us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us pray in thanksgiving for God's creation. O Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works that rejoicing in the whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness for the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us pray for all sorts and conditions of humanity at this time. O God, the creator and preserver of all humanity, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of your people, that you would be pleased to make your ways known unto us, your saving health to all nations. More especially, we pray for your holy Church Universal. May it be so guided and governed by your good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christian may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith of unity of spirit in the bonds of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your goodness all those who are in any way afflicted or distressed in mind, body or spirit, that, they, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to, to their needs, giving them patience in their suffering and a happy result out of all their afflictions. And this we ask for Jesus Christ's sake. 
Amen. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the, hour, the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest on your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Jesus, the Lord of peace, give us peace at all times and in all ways. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this evening and forevermore. Amen.